Welcome back, my name's Tanya from Just Scrap and Stamp and today I'm going to do a Valentine's Day project. To start off I'm going to stamp onto some scrap chipboard a image. Um, I've chosen a heart image because it's for Valentine's Day. We'll just ink up our stamp and pop that onto our chipboard. And we're going to cut this out. So you don't have to watch me do that, I've already cut one out. We're going to emboss this now with some Opal's embossing enamel. And this colour is called River Rose. So we just need to get some scrap paper and just ink totally over our chipboard. Make sure you get a nice coat of the Versamark ink. Versamark ink is a very sticky watermark stamp pad and it's a clear ink. And then we're just going to sprinkle our embossing enamel over the top. Make sure you get a nice thick coat. I'll just shake that a bit. Tip the excess off. Now we'll just leave that on our paper. Because with Opal's powder you do need to do two or three coats to get a nice thick layer. So we'll just sit that to the side and with our heat gun we'll just melt that down. Once the chipboard's hot, it goes a lot faster. You can see there that the powder started to melt. Once all the powder's melted and we're nearly there, we're going to turn our chipboard over while it's still hot and dip it back into our powder. Now my fingers are quite used to the heat now because I do quite a lot of embossing but you may like to use tweezers to do that. Now you can see we've got another layer of the powder on there. This is the easiest way. If you re-ink your chipboard shape and then dip in again, you're getting layers of ink and you may not get a proper adherence of the powder whereas here you've just got powder on powder so it's just going to melt into each other so this layer will go a little bit faster because we've already got our chipboard quite warm Making your own chipboard shapes is a good way of using up the backings you get with some products. I think this might have been a back off an old pad, writing pad, out of our office. So that's all melted. Now we'll dip it back into the powder once more. Careful not to push too hard, I have, and it's squished out the side a bit. Okay, so before I heat the last layer of our opals and impress the image, I'm going to use the stamp positioner, the stamper majig, and stamp the heart onto some scratch paper. And then before we start heating again, we'll ink our stamp up and heat up the opals. So we're sort of using the stamper majig in the reverse way that you normally would. You would usually stamp it onto an imaging sheet, but we just want to know we're about to sit our heart chipboard so that we get the stamp on the actual chipboard and not off the edge. So that's once that's all melted again, we can pop this over and sit it over the image where we've stamped it before, and I'll just put a little bit more ink on there. And then we should be able to stamp our heart onto our chipboard. Now we'll just leave that on the molten opals for a little while. 
so that the opals have time to set. Now this won't hurt your rubber stamps in any way and you can also use acrylic stamps for impressing into the opals. Some people like to put Versamark onto their stamp so that they know it will peel off but I've never had any trouble with the stamp not coming off. So then we can just peel the stamp off there and then we've got our stamped image on our opals. So now I'm just going to make a very quick little Valentine's Day card with that one. So I've just got a piece of grey cardstock and I'm going to use the cuddle bug just to put some dots onto a little pink piece. So we'll just pop that in there. Then make our sandwich between the two B plates. I'm just going to round the corners off on the pink card. I'm going to use the Tombo Permanent Mono Adhesive. Just run some along there. Pop that along the front. My corner round is getting very blunt. Pop that onto the bottom of the card. Then we're going to pop a little white piece along there. Before I put it on, I've got a Kaiser rub on. I'm going to pop on there first. With my basic grey rub on tool, which is fabulous. I love it. And because it's a Valentine's Day card, I'm just using the word love. that above there. So I've got a piece of ribbon cut which is grey also. Just going to tie this around. Now I always get this wrong. I can never get my bow to look the right way. And I've done it upside down again. Very easy way to fix that. Slip it back on. Just going to trim the edges off. And then a little hard, I'm going to pop up on some 3D foam. the ribbon down, pop our little heart over the top. There you go, a very easy little Valentine's Day card with a nice opal embossed finished. Thanks for watching!